Wama Uto Jakoga Uto Power to Bamba Wula. Jawa, I have parts here from a droid you sold. I need them identified. Kokola Kopana, Tejaka. Makusano Pachonki, Fah, Kuta Gioto, India. Just take a quick look. I won't keep you from your work. Sure, Topa. Slim of Gushu Sturry. She's a Kabakiota Bubanda Bakiwanki. I clear your path and you tell me what I need. I've cleared the path. Your band should be able to travel now. Nero desa slimo, crispa do kanki kun ke kupa. Chapon ka ut mangisa, chapod i kafu anchawa. The transport module, what strangers did it belong to? Ola pakisa, tila kaya chrat, grola was kakwa bubana. Fo hawa do polio is, gimoto, se goto wubi wubi. Fui panega tweepi, hey, boka donko, wana wana. You've done well, Jawa. Tandi kwa hei, kuma. Kava tuka amishka, kava no taas ma watila. All right, everyone get the equipment packed. Hail, see to the speeders. My lord, it's good to see you. Were you able to make contact with the Jawas? I was able to negotiate for what we needed. Looks like a stasis crate. The sort Zerka used to transport samples. Won't be easy to unseal, but we can peek inside. Keela, run it through the analysis grid. On it. We'll keep the sensitivity low. Don't want to pulverize any artifacts inside. Definitely something in there. Alien device of some sort, roughly spherical. Contained in a Zerka energy field. Blasted odd. This device, is it what your Zerka records talked about? It's part of the collection, probably, but I had the sense Zerka found something bigger, too. First pass shows the artifact is over 10,000 years old. Probably distortion. The energy readings are unstable. Give me a few days to pop it open, and we'll run the scan again. I won't bore you with the science. Lord Silph is on a pilgrimage, and we're getting ready to move to the forward research outpost. But we may need you again soon. This mission isn't over. I'd like to see it through. If you're heading to the desert, contact us at the first station out from Mosila. Lord Silthar should have a lead on the Zerka base by then. In the meantime, we've got an artifact to study. This is Captain Gola, Reclamation Service Outpost 701. It's good to see you, my lord. My team's still searching for the Zerka base, but we've hit a snag that, frankly, we can't handle ourselves. Bring me up to speed. After you left for the Jawas, Lord Silva had a vision. Something about the natives, the sand people. He flew a speeder into the Dune Sea, but we lost the tracking signal in an energy storm. Silva was summoning lightning. Why would Silva go out there alone? Lord Silva was following a dream. The same way he found the lost temple of Zeost and the crystal caves of Molivar. He told me the sand people and their spirit guides were the key. He was looking for some sort of compass. He won't be missing for long. Find the spirit guides and find him. When you have answers, come to our forward outpost. Otherwise, I don't know how this mission can succeed. This is preposterous. How can the so-called cream of the Imperial military fail against a bunch of alien savages? 
I'll have to have the entire company executed for ineptitude. Have you any idea how much paperwork that requires? This would be laughable if it weren't the end of my career. You should be more cautious when addressing a Sith. Uh, yes, I am. Um, I beg your pardon, my lord. I meant no disrespect. One of our transports carrying some critical data was shot down over the Dune Sea. So far, our best and brightest have been unable to handle the Sand People. We can't even approach the crash site. I suppose I could do battle with some savages. You'll... Hell? Really? Assuming the idiot natives haven't fed it to a bantha or something, everything we need is in the ship's black box. If it's not at the crash site, the savages have likely carried it off. Take a good, long look, Lightweight. See the man you're supposed to be. I'm the embodiment of your true potential. I am what you could be if you had the guts to follow the dark path more faithfully. Well, I knew I was good looking, but this is ridiculous. Vanity becomes you, but your looks will do you no good unless you heed my words. Cease your merciful tendencies and embrace the full meaning of the dark side of the Force, or you will be destroyed. Exactly how will I be destroyed? There are any number of disasters you are flirting with. You are Sith. You walk among Sith. The stench of the light in you will be like rot in their nostrils. Darth Beris will smell it on you and will strike you down without mercy. I'm not worried about Barris. You are foolish. Varus already plots against you. The light blinds you to the ill will growing from your fellows. Varus and the other Sith will have the advantage of deception. And the power of the strongest forces in the galaxy. Passion, rage, love. The light shuns and denies these things. Tell me more of this. Now you're coming around. Think this through. This Padawan Varus wants you to kill can destroy him. He has seen it. What if you can seduce her, claim this Padawan for yourself, corrupt her to the dark, control her, and add her power to yours? A master of the dark side could turn this Padawan, and then you can destroy Barris and claim everything he has. She and I will join forces, and together we will fight the forces of dark. Fool! One day, the darkness that you reject will overwhelm you. Proven your way is strong and viable. With this victory, our essence has been purified. In the clarity of this communion, a vision of our destiny on Tatooine appears. Can you see it too? An encampment hidden in the farthest reaches of the desert, past a rock formation called the Forbidden Pass. Is this where I will find the Jedi Master Yornlok? There is no doubt this is where the Padawan went. This is where the Great Master helped her powers become expressed. The image fades. 
Find the Forbidden Pass and confront Master Yonlock beyond it. Our journey on this planet ends there. Farewell. I cannot believe what I just witnessed. Did, did you just tell yourself to venture beyond the Forbidden Pass? It's not polite to eavesdrop. I only just arrived. It was not my intention to listen in. I am chilled to the bone. The desert beyond the Forbidden Pass is an area that no one can survive. No one! Even the Sand People dare not go. You mustn't go! Your concern for me is unnecessary. This is not some silly superstition. Those who go beyond the Forbidden Pass are never seen again. I will not. I cannot follow you there. You've done enough, Shorik. Thank you. That is... kind of you to say. I told Lord Barris I would see your mission through. But I never imagined it would come to this. With a heavy heart, I give you the location of the Forbidden Pass. I am... shamed that my cowardice paralyzes me. I fear I will never see you again. I'll be fine. I don't plan on dying in this desert. If you plan to cross the Forbidden Pass, that is exactly what you are doing. Well, check on Keeler and the others. See if they figured out anything with the artifact. Sir, I'd like to hear what happened. Follow orders. I'll brief everyone later. I've sent for water and Colto, my lord. I'm sure the desert was agonizing, but we've been waiting for word. Any sign of Darth Silva? Your master was Sith until the end. It was a good death. So, he really didn't make it then? Damn it. We all felt it, but we weren't sure. We're not blasted Sith. Without Silva, we're just archaeologists with guns. Without him, this whole expedition falls apart. It isn't over yet. I know where to find the Zerka base. What are you talking about? Gola! Last hail, now's not the time. The artifact, the one the Jawas found. It's got Kayla. We disabled the dampeners, and there was a flash. What? Start containment procedures now! Sekien ateste vertini. Captain Gola, care to explain this? I don't know. Keela, are you in there? Kabies met yet for first. Yan tetro gisek. Jahros de dies. Tegesh marwar. Oh, my God. 
Those creatures. They were my team. Sir, I think Perrin escaped. He was heading into the desert toward the tribal settlement. Blast. We'll mourn later. You remember the sons of Palawa. You hit them hard in Mos Ila, but their main village is just a few clicks out. If that creature reaches them, this could get very ugly. How did you come up with that? Basic rule of Xenoarchaeology. You don't unleash a foreign technology into a population center, especially one with a man-machine interface. Worst case, the technology that changed Perrin could replicate. Every person in the settlement could be transformed. At last, a challenge worthy of me. As you say, my lord. Reclamation Service protocol for contaminated sites mandates atomic heat cleansing of everything within a hundred meter radius. We've got to store a store of beradium explosives for that purpose. Enough to obliterate the Sun's cave village. But I hope it won't come to that. What choice do we have? If you're lucky, maybe you can take out Perrin before he reaches the settlement. Otherwise, plant the explosives, be careful with them, around the caves. One way or another, the contamination has to be eliminated. You! I knew the Empire used dishonorable tactics, but the ghost of the desert, do you know what it does to people? Listen to me, the Empire isn't responsible for this attack. It's a coincidence then? Within the first minute, that terror changed good villagers into murderous machines. There's a war going on in these caves. Now I'll give my brothers the chance to win by keeping you from interfering. To destroy those monsters, you'll need my help. You began this feud. Why would you help now? This is the right thing to do. That should be enough. Never thought you were going to say that. If you really want to assist, I'll tell the others to let you through, at least until the crisis is over. If we destroy the ghosts fast enough, maybe we can stop them from replicating. But if even one survives, we start all over again. The ghosts of the desert are gone, and the wind is still. The village is secure. All right. Incinerate the corpses. Yes, brother. You... You saved our village. You know the sands well. I did what was called for. To your credit. It will take time to rebuild the settlement. Time we shouldn't spend in pointless battle. You acted honorably, and the blood feud can end. You don't know how pleased I am to hear that. However, I can't help suspecting you caused this attack. Intentionally or not, you awakened the desert's terrors. Leave our settlement. Leave Tatooine altogether. Never let us see you here again. Are the power readings stable? Yes, sir. The stasis field's online. Keep it that way. I don't want the artifact powering up again. You're looking all right. You caught up with that monster? The ghosts of the desert live no more. I'll take that as an affirmative. And I'm glad you could spare the village. No one deserves that. Those artifacts Zerka found, they must be capable of infecting people, transforming them. I don't know why you'd build a device like that. But some species did long before humans lived on Tatooine. And the Reclamation Service has the job of bringing those artifacts home. Are you with us? Where Darth Silthar failed, I will succeed. As you say, my lord. Without a Sith on the expedition, we'd be at a loss, I'm sure. What we've just experienced, the artifact powering on the takeover, I'm willing to bet Zerka went through the same thing. If we knew where to start looking for Zerka's base, we could scan for the artifact's power signal, track down the laboratory. Too bad Silthar didn't get more data. Before he died, Silthar explained his plans. We have all the data we need. What are you talking about? What do you have there? This. It's primitive, but it looks like a native map. We'll check its age. Calculate the geographical changes since its creation. A 
think we have it, sir. The Natives Forbidden Zone is in Sector 22G. I can start outfitting a probe immediately. Once you're in position, use this signal device to call the droid. It'll launch from here. In the meantime, we've got friends to bury. There's a sandstorm interfering with communications, but I wanted to report. The droids locked onto an underground power signature. Must be an artifact in the Zerka base. We've also found some kind of recorded message. Any idea who it's coming from? Hatching it through now. Is this thing working? Oh, last. Security Officer Gromick here. I'm the last man out. We've been ordered to seal Zerka Secret Weapons Division 7. The base was compromised. We thought we had the problem contained to the artifact cave, but it didn't last. Okay, sealing the doors now. Anyone who sees this, don't come in. You don't want to. You really don't want to. They lost the whole base. Imagine that. We've got fragmentary codes and coordinates but you'll need to run additional scans to unlock the base. There may be more messages, too. We both know if anything is still alive in that base, you're our best chance at retrieving Zerka's artifacts. You'll have to go alone. I'll return when I've discovered more. Sounds like a plan. My team, those of us who are left, will be waiting. Part of me wishes I were going. Zerka found something unthinkably old and alien. But this is how it has to happen. Gola out. Dr. Sopern here. We've finished our initial catalog of the cave artifacts, which register as over 20,000 years old. You'd think that would narrow down the possible creators, wouldn't you? There weren't many societies capable of space travel in that period. But I can't find any society or species that fits these criteria. Even Gree technology isn't comparable. Anyway, Dr. Larrick and I will study the primary device and assign lesser relics to the others to keep them busy. Hopefully, we'll find something useful. Zerka's going to make a fortune off this stuff if we can figure it out. End log. This is Director Antaean speaking. As you know, worker safety is one of Zerka's top priorities, and we take accidents seriously. Therefore, due to concerns surrounding studies of the device, we are implementing a new policy. Anyone wishing to perform a physical inspection of the device must get written authorization from myself and Dr. Daigo. Research using droids and remote scanners may continue normally. Please note that this does not affect our division's overall schedule. I want my concerns on the record before more people get hurt. I'm worried about the device. Its energy readings keep fluctuating, and it appears to be trying to link with the lesser artifacts. I think it's a weapon, maybe a bomb. Soprin's theory about it being a Gree Enclave creation are inane. We've already got evidence of an ancient alien civilization visiting Tatooine, and they weren't Gree. We've seen similar technology in the Kashyyyk Shadowlands. I'm sure the Infinite Empire is tied to the device's origins, no matter what anyone says. And I'm tired of being ignored. Well, Dr. Larrick is gone. He's put in for a transfer and is heading back to Anchorhead, taking one of the lesser relics with him. Good riddance. He was a pain to work with. Still. Larrick's theory about an ancient infinite empire and a master alien species was fringe science at best. But some of his data makes sense. 
I'm going to run a new series of tests tomorrow, using a remote arm to open up the device. We'll see where it goes from there. This is Director Antaean to all Zerka employees. Please listen and remain calm. A few minutes ago, we experienced a minor equipment failure in the main laboratory. As a precaution, we are initiating lockdown procedures. Do not attempt to override the system so the computers will respond with force. Stay where you are, and you'll be alerted when the situation resolves. Master Yunlock, the Sith you've been tracking is upon us. Retreat to safety. I will take the intruder on. No, Yu Li. Control your feelings. Stand at my side. I will face this trespasser. Come no farther, Sith. I have been aware of your pilgrimage here. You are a fascinating and contradictory example of your order. I know why you've come. Master Nomenkar's Padawan threatens you somehow. You seek to flush her into the open and silence her. You figured it out. I will not allow it. It won't be the cause of her exposure. She came to me for guidance, and the bond we struck was the most profound of my life. We are psychically linked, she and I, and I have already warned her about you. She will not fall for your manipulations. I only seek to talk to her. I will not fall for your manipulations either. You showed restraint and reason on your journey here. Your choices reflect conscientiousness I've never witnessed in a Sith. The disparity in our capabilities is equal to the disparity in our age. You cannot win. Turn away now. I've come too far to stop now. What does it matter how far you've come, if your life ends here? In me you face a full Jedi Master, and Yu Li has greater command of lightsaber combat than any Jedi Knight I've trained. Uh, <clears throat> color me nervous. Have we ever faced a full-fledged, card-carrying Jedi Master before? The Jedi have no idea how lethal you are, Vet. I sense that's a bluff, but no matter. Your compatriot's query is moot as you will be facing us on your own. Well done, Master Yonlock. Now please, retreat and let me face the Sith. Your concern is appreciated, Yu Li, but I did not seize the advantage here to immediately relinquish it. You don't fight fair, Jedi. When the stakes are this high, I am bound to do whatever it takes to preserve the Order. Now for the last time, will you stand down? I don't respond well to threats. Enough of this! It's useless to reason with the Sith. You leave, don't! Please, as my hand is forced. Stop! Hold your weapon, Sith! I beg you. You leave, stay your tongue. No, she's just a Padawan. You are a great master. I must bargain for your life. Sith, I'll tell you everything I know, if you spare Master Yonlock. Out with it, scum. Her name is Jaisa Wilson, and Nomen Carr has taken her to... Yu Li, you have no recollection of the Padawan this Sith seeks. I have no recollection of the Padawan this Sith seeks. Now, sleep. I do not relish wiping Yuli's mind like that, but his feelings for me got the better of him. Don't try that sorcerer's nonsense on me, Jedi. Believe me, I would, if I didn't sense it would be futile. Jaisa is special, her power unprecedented. If untouched by the likes of you, she has the potential to lead the Jedi to greatness. You are filled with presumptions, Yonlark. I mean her no harm. I know your mind, Sith. You twist the truth and manipulate weakness. I must err on the side of caution. You know Jace's name, but that is all you'll get here. So you may as well kill me. 
I must find tranquility, so Jaysa will sense only peace when you strike me down. I refuse to deal the killing blow. Just tell her I want to talk. You only wish to send a message? I am at a loss to understand you, Sith. Because of the link we share, Jaysa knows what transpired here. Your message has been received. She will do with it what she will. I leave you to wrestle with what you did to your fellow. I do feel the shame of my actions. It will be difficult to live with. Goodbye, Sith. You've left me with much to ponder. Well, the rumors are true. Being paralyzed is a blast. You put on quite a show. I knew you were good, but, uh... Hope you enjoyed yourself. Not at all. It was infuriating not being able to wipe the sweat dripping from my nose. So, Sharik said she'd be at the ship. She thought we were done for. Can't wait to see the look on her face. She will be surprised to see us. I'll practice my smug look on the way there. <laughs>